Earl. <laughs> Welcome back to another Two Pats taste test. This week, we're going to try some Lottie Peppero. We have four Ooh. flavors. I'm sure there are more. Mm -hmm. So we'll have more videos to come. So which two have you got in your hands? I have almond and just the original kind of dark. Okay. And I've got peanut and white chocolate with cookies. Yay. Okay, so which one should we try first? Should we start with the original? Okay. So that's the original. Nice red packaging. Looks like it's a darker chocolate. Okay, so let's test. You can open it. It uh, states that it's Korea's number one brand. Mm. I think Samsung might have something to say <laughs> about that. But maybe they don't make chocolate dip sticks yet. When you open the box, they actually come in a package like this. And even that's branded, it's not just a plain foil. Pretty cool. Oh, that smells really good. It smells very similar to Pocky. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's uh, deliberate. Oh, sure. Okay. All right, so one for you. And one for me. I might just show a, yep, show a close-up. No, definitely smells good. All right, cheers. If you're used to Pocky, the chocolate is a little bit thinner mm. um, and sticks to the biscuit a bit better. Uh, Pocky's chocolate tends to come off quite easily okay. when you bite it. Let's try the next one. Okay. Should we try the... One of the fancy ones? Yes, let's try the cookies and cream. Okay. And just like the original, it also comes in a branded packaging. No strong flavor on this one. Oh, smell rather. Yeah, there's, a, there's a definite hint of vanilla. Yeah. Oh my. I hope they taste better than they look. Cheers. Mmm. Doesn't taste like bird poop at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought it looked like. Yes, fortunately it doesn't look, uh, doesn't taste like that at all. <laughs> it, it's very similar to uh, any kind of white chocolate with cookies in it. Mm. Mm. I'm a fan of um, Nestle's Milky Bar with cookies, and this is similar to that. I don't know about you, but the biscuit tastes a little bit stale on this one. Mm. Maybe it's just the the flavor against the white chocolate and the cookies. So which one do you think is better? Or uh, which one's your favorite let, so far? I'll make a judgment when I've okay. answered them all. All right, yeah. so let's open one of yours. Uh, let's try the almond ones. Okay. Harmony of a tasty almond and smooth chocolate. Sounds good to me. I don't want disharmonious almonds. <laughs> Okay, they they really um, they really did well with the packaging. One for you. And lots of lots of topping on these. Yeah, so that's really good. I appreciate that. Very encrusted in almonds. Looks like a medieval weapon. You can just bash someone with it. All right, cheers. Mm. Definitely almonds. Yeah. Are you a fan of almonds? Mm. I like almonds. I'm not a big fan of almonds with chocolate. Mm. I like almonds with everything. <laughs> kind of wish this was a darker chocolate. Yeah. I think with the almonds especially. Mm. But I like it. That, that would be more harmonious. 
have a visitor. <laughs> hey, let's try the last one. Harmony of a roasted peanut and smooth chocolate. One for you. Actually, if you mix these two up in a bag, I, I wouldn't be able to tell which one would be the almond one and which one's the you peanut one. You can smell one. the difference. Ah, I haven't smelt it yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. A strong peanut smell with this one. Very distinct peanut smell. Cheers. Mm. Still the milk chocolate. Mm. So the, the first one, the original, was a darker chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that would go well with the peanut. So I think what we need to do now is decide, let's, let's rank them. Okay, so which one's your least favorite? So my least favorite is the almond. Okay. I'm just not a big fan of almonds. So with me, it's the peanut. It's, it's very strongly flavored with peanut. I guess that's the downside with peanut. It's it's a strong flavor, so, and it was just a little bit too yeah. overwhelming. Okay. Okay. Number uh, second least favorite is the peanut. I'm not a big fan of nuts and chocolate in general. Hmm. So mine is also one of the nut ones. <laughs> Mine's the almond. I think if it was a dark chocolate, I'd probably rank it second or at least higher. But yeah, good effort though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number two is the original. Yeah, oh, surprising. It's hard to go wrong with it. Mm-hmm. But obviously, uh, I mean, my number one is pretty obvious at this mm -hmm. point, and that's the cookies and cream. Uh, it, I just enjoy it more. It's mu there's more to it. It's a much more of a chew. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mine's... Obviously, it's very similar, except my second one is the white chocolate, and my number one is the original. I think I'm a fan of fan of dark chocolate with biscuit. Yeah. And this one is very familiar, and it, and it tastes simple, but really well done. Yeah. This one... I don't know what it is. Maybe it was just the one that I had, but I think the white chocolate and the biscuit kind of made the biscuit taste a bit stale to me. But I'll try another one and see if that's actually the case or whether I just got a bad one. Yeah. But number one. Cool. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, forward it to your enemies as well. You never know, they might like it. Yeah. Uh, we also have a podcast at twopats.live. Uh, go check it out in iTunes as well. And if you stick around and look over there, there'll be a link to subscribe. Over there, there'll be a link to uh, a previous video and probably a link in the description to the podcast that I talked about. Mm -hmm. And let us know in the comments below if you... Um... If you've tried any of these and which one's your favorite, or if there's a Pepero uh, version that, I, that you like and would like us to taste test, let us know. Cool. Thank you. Bye.